Hello, hello, good evening. Good evening, everyone. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. I'm okay. still working. Are you still at work? Okay. Yeah. Are you almost to finish? <laughs> no. <laughs> Not, Not yet. yet. <laughs> are you going to stay there the whole night? <laughs> Maybe <laughs> for the... Uh, or, or night. The whole Actually, night. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope you finish yeah. as soon as possible. Uh, hope so too. <laughs> Hello, Carla, good evening. Hello, Lisette. Hello, Renberto, good Hello, evening. Teacher. Good Hello, teacher. How are you today? How are you today? My day is relaxed. Ah, oh, today was a relaxed day. Okay, excellent. She has a My relaxing day, day. Oh, your day too? Oh, just yeah, Veronica. Yeah, just Veronica yeah. has a busy, <laughs> a busy day. <Yeah. laughs> and what about you, Renberto? How was your day? So, so, teacher. So, so. <laughs> and todavía sigo con el resfriado. Ah, you are sick. You have a cold. Okay, yes, um, rest, uh, take your medicine, and you're going to get well soon. Hello, Evelyn. Hello, Carlos. Hello, Floridalia. Welcome to the class. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you today? I'm fine. Okay. I'm fine, thanks. You're fine too. Excellent. I'm happy you're fine. Okay, so yesterday we started studying the topic uh, simple pass. Do you remember some of the words we studied yesterday? Se acuerdan el... Play. Which one? Play. Yes, play is one. Stay. Stayed. Studied. I studied. Work. Work. Okay, yesterday we studied how to make the regular bird in simple pass. And we studied the spelling part. Do you remember the rules? Do you remember some of the rules that we need to follow? in order to make regular bird into past tense. Do you remember? Which are the rules? And let's make a review. Yesterday we studied this, right? Uh, to form the past tense of regular birds, uh, most of the birds we are going to add ed. Uh, most of the verb, right? A la mayoría de verbos vamos a agregarle at the end of the verb, most of the verb. What happened with the verbs that end in E? Most of the verbs. ¿Qué sucede con los verbos que terminan en E? We are going to add just D. And the verbs that end, we are going to add I, E, D to the verbs that end in consonant plus Y. We are going to delete the Y and we're going to add I, E, D. So let's see the other rule. We are going to add E, D if the verb end in vowel plus Y. And we are going to double. When we are going to double, cuando vamos a duplicar la última consonante. Do you remember that rule? ¿Se acuerdan de esa regla? We are going to double the consonant when, cuando tengamos la siguiente combinación. Consonant, last vowel, short vowel, plus consonant. Plus consonant. In this case, we're going to double the consonant. 
So let's let's see some example. You say the verb play. Play. What is the correct spelling? Can you please spell this verb in past tense? What is the correct spelling? Play. P L A Y E D. Yes, you are right. So he played. What about this bear? Cry, cry. Can you spell the password on this bear? Cry. C R E E D. Um, you say C R E E D? No, 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 no. C R I E D. Ah, okay, excellent. C R I E D. Yes, cried. Cried. Uh, what about the next one? Let me see. What about this? What is the correct spelling of the passport of the verb stop? S T O P P E D. Yes, S T O P. We are going to double this. And we are going to add ED. Stopped. Stopped. Yesterday, we also studied how to pronounce this uh, final ED sound. Look at this verb, washed. Washed. We are going to pronounce with D sound at the end or with, or with D sound, T or D sound. What is the D correct sound? Yes, right? We are going to use T sound at the end of this verse. So what is the correct pronunciation? Can you tell me, please? Washed. 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 Okay, excellent. What about the next one? Went. What is the final sound of this verse? T. It. Okay, the final sound of this verb is it. Mm -hmm. In the correct pronunciation, can you say the verb, please? Wanted. 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 Yes. And what about the next one? Let's see. This verb. Stay. The verb stay. What is the correct sound to the pronunciation of ED at the end of the verb? Stay. Stayed. 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 Okay, then it's a D sound. It's a D sound. So we have these three different sounds to pronounce the final ED in the past form of the regular bird. T sound, it, and D sound. So yesterday we studied the list, right? Ayer vimos la lista de las letras, de los sonidos en que terminan los verbos. Si es boys, boys, we are going to pronounce D. Si la terminación es una letra que no produzca vibración, que se llama voiceless, vamos a pronunciarla como T. Si termina en T, como en el caso de wanted, o en D, como en el caso de need, we are going to use it, the sound it. Need it, want it. Do you have any question about yesterday class? No questions? Please, please repeat the, the three rules for the pronunciation. The three rules for the pronunciation. Okay. Si un verbo termina en un voiceless, voiceless sound, in a voiceless sound, son los sonidos que no producen vibración, ¿verdad? como el sonido de la P, el sonido de la K. Y S2, el sonido de la S. Eh, por ejemplo, ¿verdad? ayer vimos la lista, entonces vamos a utilizar el sonido de the T sound. We're going to use D sound. Si el verbo termina en un sonido de vowel, vowel sound, 
or voiced sound. So, vowel sound or voiced, eh, los que producen vibración, ¿verdad? We are going to add the, the sound. We are going to use this. Y si los verbos terminan en sonido de T, and also sound D, D sound, we are going to pronounce the final ED as it. We are going to use D sound, it. So voice sound, T. Vowel sound or voice, D. A final sound T and D, we are going to pronounce it. That are the three rules. Thank you. Okay. My pleasure. Any other question? Do you have any other question? No question. What about the platform? Do you have any question about the platform? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta acerca de la plataforma, de algún ejercicio difícil que no pudieron solucionar? No questions. Then let's start with today's topic. Today we are going to continue studying the simple past, but at this time we are going to study irregular verbs. So let's start with this. Yes, a second, please. Let me know, please, if you can see my screen. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Just a second, please. Okay, here is a simple past irregular birds. That is the topic for today. As I said before, there are two types of birds, right? There are regular and irregular birds. And yesterday we studied the rules to make past tense with the regular birds, and now we are going to study irregular birds. Unfortunately, there isn't any rule to inform a simple pass of irregular birds. You have to learn them from at least, take a look of the following birds. Desafortunadamente, ¿verdad? para los verbos irregulares, no existe ninguna regla como las que vimos anteriormente para los verbos regulares. Cada verbo tiene su propia forma en el pasado, para formar el pasado. Entonces, solo nos queda ¿verdad? aprenderlo de una lista, ¿verdad? aprenderlos de una lista. El verbo de forma infinitiva eh, o en presente y, el, y su forma en pasado. Look at this, look at this example. Do, the verb do. The past form is did. Get up, go up, go up. Go, went, meet, met, come, came, had, have, had. So as you can see, every verb has its own form in the past tense. Let's see this example. I did yoga yesterday. You got up early. He went to the shopping mall. She met her classmate. We came home early. They had a birthday party. So, como podemos ver en estos ejemplos, cada verbo tiene su propia forma en el pasado. So we need to practice a lot in order to learn those verbs. So read the following examples. Um, before to, to go to reading the examples, so making sentences. How we're going to use the irregular verb past form to make a sentence is the same, right? It's the same way that we studied yesterday with irregular verb. We need a subject, a verb in simple past tense, plus a complement. It's the same. Vamos a necesitar un sujeto, 
el verbo en pasado, en tiempo pasado, más el complemento, más un complemento. A volunteer, please, to read these examples. Who wants to read the examples? I did my work, my homework. You sí. got up at noon. He went to the museum. We meet our teacher. They came home late. You had a picnic. Thank you very much. In the first sentence, what is the bird? What is the bird in past tense? Did. Did. Thank you. What? And what, what is the subject? I. I. Yes. In sentence number two, what is the bird? Good up. Good up. Good up. What is the meaning of that bird? The... No. You got up at noon. What is the meaning of the whole sentence? You got up at noon. Uh, levantarse, no. Levantarse temprano. Tú. Mm -hmm. Te levantaste, madrugaste. <laughs> <laughs> de hecho, es al contrario. You got ah, up es... at noon. Medio día. Uh, no. Yes. Tú te levantaste al mediodía. Yeah, yeah. At noon. You got up at noon. ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que experimentaron esa felicidad? Hace eh, mucho tiempo. I got up at noon. Se levantó al mediodía. Eh, the next, he went to the museum. He went to the museum. What is the meaning of the sentence? He went to the museum. Él fue al museo. Yes, thank you. The next one, we met our teacher. Nosotros conocimos a nuestro profesor. Yes, they came home late. Ellos llegaron tarde a casa. Ellos llegaron tarde a casa. They came home late. As Verónica today, ¿eh? Él va a llegar tarde. Exactly. <laughs> Mañana va a decir esa oración. I came, I came home late. You had a picnic. You had a picnic. Tú tuviste un picnic. So nice. So let's continue practicing this. Okay. And the did is the past form of the verb. ¿De qué verbo es la forma pasada did? Do. 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 Thank you. Got up is the past form of the verb. Get up. Get up. Get up. When? When is the past form of the verb? Go. 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 Met. Meet. Meet. Came. Home. Home. Had. Have. Have. Okay, excellent. So let's practice. Do you know the correct past form of the following words? Okay, I hit here. It. Ate. Ate. Sing. Ate. Sun. Take, took, find, found, see, saw, make, make, made, sit, sat, write, wrote. ¿Ya conocían esto de formas pasadas? Son of them, any of them? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. Who wants to read the first example? Sorry. Who wants to read the first example? I ate a, a cake. Thank you. I ate a cake. The meaning of the sentence? Yo comí pastel. Yo comí pastel. Yo comí un pastel. Okay. Me comí un pastel. I ate a cake. Uh, next one, we sang. Who wants to read the next one? We sang too much last night. We sang too much last night. Estas personas fueron al karaoke. Y ellas dicen nosotros. We sang too much last night. What is the meaning of the sentence? Nosotros cantamos mucho anoche. 
la noche pasada o la noche anterior. We sang too much last night. Uh, the next one, please. Who wants to read the next one? Day two. I took, I took three hours to drive to Paris. I took three hours to drive to Paris. So, me tomó tres horas eh, conduciendo hasta Paris. Paris. The next one, find, found. I found your keys under the table. I found your keys under the table. Thank you. The meaning of the sentence. Yo encontré tus llaves debajo de la mesa. Okay, ¿quién ya ha perdido sus llaves? Me. Me. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that happens, right? That happens. Um, almost everyone uh, has ever lost the keys. Y ojalá no haya sido la del carro, ¿verdad? He saw the new movie yesterday. What is the meaning of that sentence? Eh? Of that sentence, sorry. He saw the new movie yesterday. Él vio la nueva película ayer. Okay. The last three. Who wants to read the last three? ¿Quién quiere leer las últimas tres, please? She made, She made a, cake. a cake. It was delicious. Thank you. The next. I sat. I sat on the old chair and it broke. And the last one. And he wrote a letter to, to his wife. Okay, excellent. Look at this sentence. She made a cake. It was delicious. Can you cook a cake? Can you make a cake? Yes. Yes. No, I can't. Yes. <laughs> yes, I can. It's uh, easy. It's easy, really? Yes, it's easy. Ah, If okay. you enjoy it, cook, it's easy. Ah, if you enjoy cooking, it is easy. Okay. Yes. We need just to follow the recipe. Solo tenemos que seguir la yes. receta and we can make a cake. Thanks. I sat on the old chair and what happened? Me senté en la silla vieja. ¿Y qué pasó? Se and it broke. Y se rompió. Se quebró. He wrote a letter to his wife. Él escribió una carta a quién? A su esposa. A su esposa, okay. Is it a romantic thing? He wrote a letter to his wife. Wait. ¿Todavía escriben cartas? No. Just WhatsApp en Messenger. Then let's go with this. How to make negative statements using irregular verbs. Bueno, para hacer una oración afirmativa, entonces... We need just a subject, the verb in past, and a complement. Now, for made in negative statements, we are going to need to use an auxiliary. The auxiliary did. Did plus not, and the contraction is didn't. Para hacer una oración negativa en pasado, vamos a utilizar el auxiliar did más la partícula not. Contractado se pronuncia didn't, didn't. Then we need a subject, didn't, plus verb in the present, plus complement. So pay attention to this part. El verbo ya no va a ir en pasado. The verb must be in present. El verbo debe estar en presente o infinitivo sin el tú. I didn't take many pictures. I didn't take many pictures. So, as you can see, the bird is in present. I didn't take many pictures. The tour guide didn't speak Spanish. She didn't go fishing. She didn't go fishing. You didn't eat fruit. They didn't do their homework. And we didn't buy a new smartphone. So, look at the bird is in present. And we need to use didn't to make a negative sentence. Who wants to read these examples? Who wants to practice and read these examples aloud, please? I didn't take many pictures. Thank you. The next, please. The tour guide didn't speak Spanish. 
She didn't go fishing. You didn't eat fruit. They didn't do their homework. We didn't buy a new smartphone. Thanks a lot. Very good job. Thank you. Then let's see how to make questions. Do you have any question how to make a negative statement using a regular verb? No question in this part? No, teacher. No? Okay, then no, let's teacher. go how to make a question. How to make a question. So we're going to use the auxiliary did at the beginning of the sentence. Al inicio de la oración necesitamos poner el auxiliary did. Then a subject, then the very present again, plus complement, plus the question mark. So that is the structure. Did you go shopping on the weekend? Did you go shopping on the weekend? Tiene dos opciones para responder. It's a yes, no question. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Now the question for you. Did you go shopping on the weekend? No, did... I didn't. No, yes, I didn't. I did. Yes, you did. Yes. Yes, okay, excellent. Did he go to the beach last vacation? Fue él yes. La... yes, he did or no, he didn't. Those are the possible answers. Did you eat eggs and beans for breakfast? Oh, sorry, this is, did she? Did she eat eggs and beans for the breakfast? Yes, she did. No, she didn't. Did they write a letter? Yes, they did. No, they didn't. So it is easy, right, in this part. So let's ponemos el auxiliar did al inicio de la oración, then the subject, then the verb in present, plus a complement, plus a question mark. So we're going to read this conversation here. So did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes, we loved it. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses. And we also went white water rafting on the Colorado River. Wow, did you have fun? Yes, we did. We have a great time. Can you please identify some birds? Can you identify some birds in this conversation, please? Which are some did. of them? Did. When. So. Did go. So. When. when so. So. Okay, this is one. When. Loud. So is another one. Bad. Love, loved. Which Road. other one? Road. 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 Okay, excellent. When. When again. Have. 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 Okay, it's a bird. Yes. Have. Had this. We had a great time. Okay. When. When is the past form of the bird? Go. Go. So is the past form of the verb. See. See, road is the past form of the verb. Right. 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 And hat. Have. Have. Okay. New vocabulary in this part. Is it a new word in this part? Hiking is the meaning. Is the meaning. Escalar, ¿verdad? O caminar. Caminar. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Hiking es tomar una caminata. Caminata. Yes. Any other new word? Rafting, teacher. Uh, rafting is this sport that you can see in the picture. This is rafting. Es como navegar en los rápidos. Rafting. Any other question? Okay, to volunteer to practice this conversation. This is my conversation, please. 
Who wants to participate? To volunteer, please. Me, teacher. Okay. One student more who wants to participate in this conversation. Okay, so you can start. Okay, so did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did my sister and, and I, and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like did you like it? Oh yes, we love it. Did you go hiking there? No, we we didn't actually. Uh, we rode we rode horse and we also went wild water rafting off the Colorado the Colorado River. Wow! Did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Okay. Thank you. Very good job. How do you pronounce this? Go. Go hiking. Go hiking. Thank you. Hiking. This one. Grand. Grand Canyon. Grand Canyon. Grand Canyon. Okay, Grand Canyon. And this one. Arizona. Arizona. Okay, excellent. Arizona. And let's see which other one. Oh, this, this combination. How do you pronounce this? White water. White water. White water. White water. Excellent. 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 Thank you very much. So let's go with this. Simple, fast, yes, no question. Right? Um, here is the question. Did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had a great summer. Did you play volleyball? No, I didn't. I played tennis. Did Erica like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked, she liked a lot. She liked it a lot. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. So, two volunteers, please. Uno va a leer la pregunta y el otro va a leer la respuesta. Can you help me with that, please? Who wants, who wants to participate? Put your hands up, please, and help me with this. Who wants to participate at this time? Just to volunteer, please. Me. Thank you, and? Me. Okay, thanks. So you can start read one, read the question, and the other one, the answer. Did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I did, I had a great summer. Did you play volleyball? No, I didn't. I played tennis. Did Erica like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked it a lot. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. Okay, thanks. So let's see. The, if the question is with you, did you have a good summer? You, you answered, yes, I did. Uh, or no, I didn't. If the question is for her, did Erica like her vacation? You say, yes, she. Yes, she did. Oh, no, she didn't. Yes, she did. If it is date, Erica and her sister, so they. Did they go to Colorado? No, they didn't. So let's go with the next thing today. Do you have any question in this part? No question. Then we're going to practice with this. 
you have to read the sentence and you have to choose the correct form of the verb to complete the sentence. Look at this, don't a new house last month. What is the correct form of the verb buy in past like tense? Tom bought a new house last month. Is it number two? Number two, this, yes, you're right. Tom bought a new house last month. Let's go with exercise B. What is the correct answer? She didn't understand. Hasn't understood. Number three. She didn't. Number three. Yes, number three is the correct. She didn't understand the question yesterday. She didn't understand the question yesterday. And let us see which one is the correct answer. Fred, a lot of pictures of his holiday last summer. Fred took a lot of pictures. Oh. Yes, you are right. This is the correct form of the verb take. In past is took. Thanks. So who wants to read the sentence correctly in exercise A? Yeah. Um, about a new house last month. Things. The next letter B, exercise B. She didn't understand the question yesterday. Thanks a lot. And the last one, letter C. Fred took a lot, a lot of pictures on his holiday summer. No, holiday yeah. last summer. Last summer, thank you. Let's see, I have another three here for you. What is the correct answer? Which number is the correct? Number three. Number three, yes, you're right. What did you get for your birthday? What did you get for your birthday? That is a question for you. What did you get for your last birthday? ¿Qué les regalaron en su último cumpleaños? A card? Uh, Maybe a card of toy. <laughs> <laughs> a car toy. Who more? Is, what did you get for your last birthday? Do you remember that? ¿Cómo se dice? And you say, I got, I got, I got a new cell phone, I got a television, I got a new sofa. I got new earrings, a necklace, a bracelet, a ring, probably. I don't know. I got a new earrings. Okay, I got new earrings. Excellent. Los demás no se acuerdan? What did you get for your last birthday? I got pijamas. <laughs> Oh, okay, I got a new pajama. pajama. Okay, excellent. I got new shoes. Okay, I got new shoes. Perfect. Los demás todavía no, no han cumplido años. Oh. Es raro que I no tengan algo. <laughs> no, no, no le regalan nada. Oh, come on. Mm. Okay, I got a cake, a dinner in a fancy restaurant. I got a new sandal. I got new sandals, excellent. Let's go with exercise E. What is the correct? What is the correct answer to complete this sentence? Where? Did you go in? Did you number win? Two. Number two. Number two. Uh, did you win is a good try, but no, the correct answer is number two. Where did you go last weekend? Do you remember that? Where do where do you where did you go last weekend? 
Where did you go last weekend? I Don't went to the beauty salon. Oh. Okay, I went to the beauty salon. ¿Alguien más se recuerda? Where did you go last weekend? And you say, I went. I went to the park. I went to the mall. I went to the supermarket. I, I went, went to, to the... the supermarket. Okay, excellent. Excellent sentence. ¿Y los demás no salieron? ¿Estuvieron castigados mm -hmm. en casa? Haciendo tareas. <laughs> okay. Yes, castigados. You were studying. You were studying at home. I went to the park. Yeah, I went to the park. That is another good sentence. I went to the park. Nadie fue a la playa. I went to the beach. Nadie fue al cine. I went to the movie theater. No. no. I went to the airport. I went to the airport. Okay, I went to the airport. Excellent sentence. Thanks. And the last one, exercise F. What is the correct answer in this exercise? Number three. Which, which is the correct answer? Number, Number three. three. I wanted to buy that computer, but it was too expensive. Yes, this is the correct answer. I wanted to buy that computer, but it was too expensive. ¿Qué sucedió? ¿Compró o no compró una computadora? No la compró. No la compró. What was the reason? Quería comprarla. <laughs> because it was too expensive. It was too expensive. Ok. Estaba demasiado. Car. Para. Ok, look at this. I have this conversation here. Let me do this. And it is, uh, it, is a it is a conversation between Robert and Alice. And it says, hi, Alice. What did you do last weekend? What did you do last weekend? I did a lot of things. On Saturday, I went shopping. What did you buy? I bought some new clothes. I also played tennis. Who did you play with? I played with Tom. Did you win? Of course I won. What did you do after your tennis match? Well, I went home and took a shower and then went out. Did you eat in a restaurant? Yes. My friend Jackie and I ate at the good fork. Did you enjoy your dinner? Yes, we enjoyed our dinner very much. We also drank some wonderful wine. Unfortunately, I didn't go out this weekend. I didn't eat in a restaurant and I didn't play tennis. What did you do? I stayed at home and studied for my test. Poor you. Okay, le pasó lo mismo que a ustedes right? este fin de semana. You stay at home and study for your test. So, ¿qué actividades hizo Alice? De acuerdo a la conversación, ¿qué actividades hizo Alice el fin de semana pasado? What did her do last weekend? She went to shopping. The shopping. Oh, she went shopping. She bought some new clothes. She bought some new clothes, yes. ¿Qué otra actividad hizo? She played tennis. She played tennis. Any she other activity? With Tom. She played tennis with Tom. I watched, took a shower. Okay, yes. She went home and took a shower. She went home and took a shower. Any other activity? She went, she went out. Oh, she went out. She went out. She went to a restaurant. She went to a restaurant. 
She ate at the good fork. She ate at the good fork. This is the name of the restaurant. The good fork. That is the name of the restaurant. She's drunk wine. Oh, she drank wine. She drank wonderful wine, she said. She drank some wonderful wine. Era del bueno. And Robert, ¿cuáles fueron las actividades de Robert last weekend? What did he do last weekend? He stayed home. Sorry for his test. For his test. For his test. He is staying home and studied for his test. Bueno, hay alguien que tiene muy alta la televisión, ¿verdad? Ella está en lo suyo y nosotros no en lo suyo. Thanks, thanks a lot. Gracias. Estábamos oyendo las noticias. So look at this. We are going to have this activity. Share the answer for the following question with your classmate. What did you do last weekend? What did you do last weekend? You can use the following words to help you. Of course, in simple past ring. You can use this verb: go, clean, wash, stay, study, sing, dance, eat, get up, visit, and buy. What is the past form of go? What is when, the past form of okay, when? Clean. What is the past form of clean? Cleaned. Cleaned is a regular verb. Wash. Washed. Washed. Excellent. Stay. Stayed. 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 Study. Study. Studied, yes. Sing. What is the past form of the verb sing? Sang. 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 Dance. Uh, se los escribe, but dance. It. What is the past form of it? Eight. Eight. Get up. Got up. Visit. 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 And the last one, buy. Buy. About now, can you please help me answer in this question with your classmate? What did you do last weekend? ¿Qué actividades hizo el fin de semana pasado? Um, escribo una listita ¿verdad? de los verbos que hizo, por ejemplo, limpió su cuarto. So, the sentence is going to be I cleaned. I cleaned my room. Si el fin de semana pasado le tocó lavar la ropa, entonces usted, I washed, I washed my clothes. Dice, yo ya no lavo, yo tengo lavadora. Entonces usted dice, the laundry, right? I do the laundry. En este caso sería en pasado, I did, I did the laundry. Eh, ¿cuál otras, ¿Qué otras actividades hicieron el fin de semana? What did you do last weekend? You can say, I watched a movie. I stayed home. I played soccer with my husband, my son, my daughter. I ate. I ate pupusas on Saturday. Comí pupusas el sábado. I got up late on Sunday. Me levanté tarde el domingo. I visited my grandmother. I visited, I visited my family. So, ¿cuáles fueron sus actividades el fin de semana pasado? What did you do last weekend? You are going to share with your classmate. You are going to have five minutes. Is it okay? You are going to have five minutes to share with your classmate. So, vamos a ir a los pequeños grupos. ¿Cuál es la pregunta que vamos a discutir o vamos a responder en los grupos pequeños? In the break What did you do last weekend? What did you do last weekend? Uh, por lo menos cuatro, cuatro actividades que hicieron el fin de semana. Four, four. 
Let me know, please, if you are ready. And you're ready? Yes, teacher. Yes. Let me know, please, if you're ready. Tell me not, tell me not to write your sentence if you want. You see, I washed my dog. I washed my dog. I visited um, the park or oh, I went to the park. I washed my car. I ate a uh, pizza. I ate chicken. I ate fish. I studied English. I studied math. I did exercise. I did exercise. I went to the gym. I went hiking. I made my bed. Yo hice mi cama. So, are you ready? So, you are going to have five minutes to share with your classmate. Roxana, are you ready? Roxana Abigail, are you ready? Evelyn, are you ready? Yes, no. Mm, I'm ready. Okay, Mateo and Carlos are ready. Okay, well, I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, thanks. Thanks a lot. So we're going to go to do this. We are 11. Bueno, acá vamos. Renberto, ok. Renberto, ¿le llegó la invitación para unirse al grupo? Okay. Teacher, we have a question. Tell me, Carlos, what is your question? How can I help you? How do you say eh, lavar, pero en lavador? Ah, it is do the laundry. Do the laundry. Do yes. the laundry. In yes. present, teacher. In present is do the laundry. In past, I did. I did the laundry. I did. Okay, thank yes. you. I did the laundry. Okay. 
and Carlos, what did you do last weekend? I went to a party and ate cake on Saturday. And the, and the Sunday, I went to hike in a park and saw the dinosaur TV show. Okay. Now, Janet, it's your turn. What did you do last weekend? Okay, I went to the beach. I washed, I washed the car and I cleaned in the house. Okay, excellent. And Melida Sarai, it's your turn. What did you do last weekend? Okay, I shopping a new shoes. I did laundry and I watched I watch, I watch, it's correct. I watch I watch a two movie. I watch a movie. Okay, excellent. Now that you have finished, try to guess what did your classmate did last weekend. Intente adivinar utilizando yes no question. For example, Janet, did you go shopping last weekend? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Carlos, did you wash your dog last weekend? Oh, Carlos is in there. So, Melida Sarai, did you cook last weekend? No, no, I didn't. <laughs> no, I didn't. Ah, okay. Uh, Janet, did you eat pupusas last weekend? Yes, I did. Okay. Uh, Melida, did you drink soda last weekend? Yes, I did. Okay. Janet, did you drink coffee last weekend? No, I didn't. Uh, Melida, did you go to the mall last weekend? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Okay. Yes, I did. Sorry. Janet, yes, I did. did you go to the market last weekend? No, I didn't. Melida, did you buy fruit last weekend? Yes, I did. Janet, did you eat fruit last weekend? Yes, I did. Okay, excellent. Well, let's continue practicing and see you in a minute in the classroom with your classmate. Thank you. You are doing a great job. Thanks a lot. Thank you, teacher. Hello, hello, welcome again. How was your practice? Did you enjoy it? Yes, teacher. Did you finish? Yes. Yes? Okay, let's listen to an example. Let's see, Carla, can you tell me what did you do last weekend? Um, I cleaned my room and then I went to a supermarket um, I studied uh, with my son because he uh, had an exam and I saw movies with my husband. Okay, excellent. Now let's listen, Evelyn, what did you do last weekend? Evelyn Abigail, can you help me please? What did you do last weekend? I, I, I learned computer. Okay. 
I, I learned computer and science. I got, mm, I visited uh, my sister. Oh, you visited your sister? And I bought the new shoes. I bought new shoes, okay. And just one example more, Lisette, what did you do last weekend? Yeah, um, I stood in the platform. Mm -hmm. I clean, I clean my room, uh, visit my family and wash my shoes. Okay, excellent. <laughs> she washed. <laughs> She wasn't. Y se le secaron porque llovió mucho ayer. No. Espero que sí se. <laughs> Espero que se le hayan secado. Okay. Bueno. Eh, do you have any question about today's class? Questions? Do you have any questions? No questions. Okay. They are going to share with you the presentation of the WhatsApp group eh, with the platform. Uh, keep working, keep working on the platform, please. Uh, don't forget that you have to finish all the whole exercise, the whole exercises and also the evaluation. And la misión final es hacer el examen, ¿verdad? The final test. Llegar al examen final y pasarlo con el 100%. So that is the goal, that is the mission that you have, right? Tiene que completar esa plataforma lo más pronto posible, ¿verdad? So keep working on that, please. And if you have any question, just write on the WhatsApp group, please. So it has been a pleasure to be with you tonight. Thank you very much for your attention and your participation. So see you tomorrow. Uh, sleep well. Have a nice night. Drink a lot. Sweet drinks. Que tenga bonitos sueños. Nos vemos entonces. Bye. Mañana. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bye.